Okay, I think we're live. Hello, I'm Steve, and welcome to a crazy Mac 84 live stream again. You guys like it, I keep doing it. So, uh, let me just organize my windows here since we're actually uh, live. And pop out the chat so I can see everybody. Make Let me know if the video's okay, if the audio sounds okay. And I will move everything into position so I can see things correctly. Cool, so we got oh, a bunch of people here. Bunch of people. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. So today, um, quite a few things we're going to be doing. Um, first things first is we have a Mac. <laughs> this is not just any Mac. This is this is one of my favorites. Um, and it, it's a shame it's too big for me to put here, but we'll get to that in a little bit. I like the hat. Well, thank you. Oh, now you see you removed your comment. I guess you don't like the hat anymore. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> so one of the Macs I have here is is my uh, beige G3 mini tower, and I, and I really like this machine. Uh, I bought this for about, ooh, what is it, two hundred ninety nine dollars or something like that from MacAllTrades.com, maybe close to twenty years ago at this point. This 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 machine, I bought this machine because I wanted a desktop that was almost as fast as my uh, Keylime. Uh, 466 megahertz iBook and uh, this is a 333 megahertz top of the line beige g3 mini tower this is the fastest model that they made and uh, this is uh, one of my favorites and we'll explain why in a bit but let me uh, take the camera off the tripod and sort of give you a, a first uh, closer look at the front of this so we have a floppy drive up front we have a zip bezel uh, I think there's I don't know if there's a zip drive in there yes there is and uh, then we have an optical drive I think it's just a standard CD drive, or maybe it's a DVD-ROM. Um, but yeah, this this is what came before the blue and white G3 models that were very slick and candy-colored. And uh, yeah, this is this is one of my favorite machines ever made. And if we look at the back, we got tons of legacy ports here. So we have uh, SCSI at the top, 25-pin SCSI. We have ADB for your keyboard and mouse. We have a 10-base uh, Ethernet there. So uh, uh, 10 megabits per second. We have two serial ports on the left, that's printer and modem. We have a uh, DB15 monitor out, and I have the Wings personality card. So that's the AV input output card. So uh, sadly only works with OS 9, but allows you to input and export video, which is really cool. Uh, we have a SCSI card on the bottom, and uh, below that's an Ethernet card, which I don't think works, but we're gonna try and get to that as part of our playing around here. And uh, then we have the power supply jack of the, of, of course. Uh, but if you could see, you could see actually, that here's the sticker uh, that lowendmac.com slapped on this machine. Uh, it was only supposed to come with 128 megs of memory. I think they put in 256. I have since upgraded it. Uh, and I think I've upgraded the hard drive as well. But uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's put this back on the tripod. And I have to warn you, I have to warn you, this this hard drive is pretty loud. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna turn it on in a minute and it's gonna get quite quite loud. So if you hear a screeching noise, you hear a humming noise, that's just the way, the, the way these old SCSI hard drives are. So we're gonna turn it on in a second. Um, I don't have the Voodoo card installed in here yet. So if you read the title of the video, we're gonna test a Voodoo card. And that is actually in this bag here. So we will be testing that out. Uh, I have to first get this thing networked and uh, I wanna try a few different things. So uh, I just recently did a fresh install of macOS 8.6, so that is already on the machine. And uh, this is going to be appearing on this screen here. I unfortunately don't have a video capture device that plays nicely with OBS, so I can't do a picture-in-picture -picture type thing yet. Uh, I'm trying to get to that point, I just don't have that capability right now. But what I will be doing is putting the camera here, or the secondary camera there, so you can at least look at it up close when we're doing our games and stuff. But first things first, um, we'll be turning it on. So uh, everyone, you've been warned about your ears. I don't know how loud this microphone is gonna pick this SCSI hard drive up, but it is quite loud. But uh, at least you're not alone whenever you have a SCSI hard drive. So uh, with that being said, let's boot her up. There goes that hard drive. This one has a SCSI card in it. It was a higher-end model. Uh, this does have an IDE bus, but uh, I don't believe 
uh, many of the people who bought these machines were using that because the SCSI drives are so much faster. Hello, Macintosh Librarian. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the, the stream, whatever you want to call this thing. <laughs> and the PRAM battery is dead, so I get to reboot it once in a while because the video doesn't display right away. That is a lot. That is a tricky thing that I, I, I'm still getting the hang of on these old Macs. If you don't have the video cable plugged into the back, uh, when it's booting up, it, it will just ignore the display. <laughs> so, yeah, fun times. There we go. You'll probably hear that. <laughs> yeah, sorry if it's that loud. Let me move the microphone a bit back. Because, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, quite a noisy boy. I do love this machine, though. It's, it's very versatile. Okay, good. It's not loud. Cool. Move it a bit closer. It's, it's delightfully loud. Okay, so there's there's a careful balance between there. So we're booting into 8.6 here, which is great. Uh, it's a fresh install. Uh, I did plug in a, uh, I think it's a 10100 Ethernet card, but I'm not sure if it's actually supported by <laughs> by this version of the OS. Um, no, yeah, it, it can be soothing. Actually, speaking of Ethernet cards... If this one doesn't work, I uh, recently acquired that uh, MDD tower, uh, which had an Ethernet card in it, which Mac OS X recognized, so maybe it'll work in 8.6, who knows. An error occurred, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just, I'm just vacuuming for three hours. Okay, so uh, let me uh, bring the camera a little closer here. Actually, let's see if this secondary camera wants to work, because that means uh, we'll be playing around with a lot less crap here. Oops. Or more crap, whatever it is. All right, let's let's uh, let's be fancy here and try and get this to work. One moment, please. Hopefully the audio is back. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, here is our, uh, about this back panel. Yeah, the sound cut out for a second, sorry. When I switched scenes, it, it didn't like that. Uh, so we have 640 megabytes of memory. We're running uh, 8.6. Let's go to System Profiler here. There we go. So, well, that's interesting. It says the machine is 500 megahertz. I, it, no, it's not. It's not. Um, huh. Uh, yeah, I think I've talked to that individual before. The name sounds familiar, Raw Elements. Yeah, send me an email with the info, or if you want to uh, chat me elsewhere, Twitter or whatever. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Mac84TV at gmail.com is the email address. But, uh, interesting. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, I don't know why it says it's, a uh, 501 megahertz. I don't think I have an upgrade chip in here. Uh, if I do, I'll take it out. Because <laughs> I don't want to, uh, I don't want to do anything. Uh, yeah, Discord's fine, too. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to do anything that is, uh, well, I'll, I'll explain the reason why in a minute. But, um. Yeah, so here's our, our system. If we go to devices and volumes, we will see some juicy information here. There we go. And so uh, we have our display card, which is, this is the display card that is built into the computer. So that has six megabytes of video memory here, which is, uh, it's okay, I guess. It's not really anything crazy. Uh, I do not personally have a Discord server. I am part of the Discord server uh, for MacYak. And um, if any of the MacYak uh, people are in the chat and they want to, uh, want to join in and put the link in there, you're welcome to. Uh, Steve, do you happen to know if a 266 will be upgraded to a 333? Um, there might be a way to do that. I think you'd need the processor unless you want to overclock the 233. Um, this has a 333 in there. Although now I have to double check to make sure I didn't leave an upgrade card in there. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this has a built-in ATI graphics chipset, uh, six megabytes. I believe it only had two, but I put in, I put in a little uh, 
uh, memory chip upgrade thing. So, yeah, we're going to check on that in a second. We're going to open this machine up in like two minutes. Uh, SCSI card here, we have our ADPT or whatever brand, ADT or whatever whatever brand it is. It's an ultra-wide SCSI card. And uh, we have our PCI card slot, which is supposed to be Ethernet. Which, uh, I don't know if the drivers are, yeah, I don't know if, the, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, let's check it out. I'm curious. Oh, wrong control panel. Yeah, we only have the one Ethernet. Actually, yeah, no, that's not plugged in, so that doesn't really help us. Huh. <laughs> eBay is dangerous. Adapt Tech, thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna close that down. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shut the machine down and we're gonna we're gonna open it up real quick. Because uh, we have some things to do. Listen to that hard drive spin down. Boy. All right. So um, let me see how I can position the camera here. Move some of this junk on the floor out of the way. Okay. So unplug the power cord. <laughs> Just go there regardless. eBay can be very, very dangerous. Okay, so um, this machine opens very nicely. It actually is, is not, uh, it's not as, let's say, uh, open door as the, uh, the the blue and white G3. But uh, you do open this door. Let's see if we get this better view. Here we go. Tilt it down a little bit. So this door does open. I'm going to put that to the side here. Okay. And... There is echoing. Oh, one second. Let me figure that out. There we go. Sorry. There, um, there's there. When I switch scenes, sometimes the microphone goes a little nuts. So if I'm too loud or something like that, just let me know. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's settled now. I'm not in a sewage tunnel. I promise. I did it on purpose. You know, Mike is exactly right. I did it exactly on purpose. So that is, uh, that is all, all my fault. And, uh, I just had to send a message to somebody about something they're doing a little later. So hold please. Okay. So, uh, this is a lot like 9600. Yes, yeah, so the 9600 is actually uh, taller than this. The 9600 has more PCI card slots, so it's actually taller. Uh, my 9600 is on the other side of the room, otherwise I'd bring it here. <laughs> it's, it's a little hard to get to at this moment. Um, okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, well, I guess I woke you up. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so uh, first things first, a lot of these bezels are actually from my 9600. Uh, that's why there's a different degree of yellowing or color difference here. Um, the bezels from my G3 mini tower, I took them off so many times when this machine was my main desktop. I was swapping out optical drives, doing this, doing upgrades, all this stuff. And the tabs are just plastic and they, they broke. So, um, yeah, these are from a 9600, but they're the same exact ones. So there you go. Uh, but let's, let's give you a, a good look at the side here. Now, there is some rust on this machine and I have to clean it but uh, it's actually in the bottom corner here. And there was moisture in this machine at some point. I don't know when it was in a garage or whatever. I never stored it in the garage, but rust got in here and it's just on the metal here. So thankfully it's not touching any electronic components, but it has sort of spread to that whole bottom there. So I'm gonna have to clean that out. Thankfully, again, it's not near anything important, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to treat this very nicely. So, all right, so let's put the camera back on the tripod there. Oh, sorry, move you around. Those sides can fall off if you're uncareful. Yes, there's a lot of things. These brittle plastics are, well, even when they weren't new. I mean, even when they weren't old, you know, they had some issues. But all right, so uh, the interesting design of this tower is sort of how it actually opens. So from here, I can access the optical drives, the floppy, and everything. Uh, any of the stuff I put in the vase, I can easily access. Uh, here's the SCSI hard drive. So that is actually mounted up here. 
Uh, so you have that drive bracket here, and the SCSI cord goes in the back. But to access anything else, you flip open these little handles, which actually have you know a little translucent blue. It's not the same color blue as the as the Bondi Blue iMac or as the uh, G3 Blue and White. It's a, more of a greenish color, a lighter greenish color. Um, but nice little accents there. And um, yeah, there's there's some special sauce Jay has shared with me for uh, for rust, and I will try and uh, handle that because we don't want. Uh, this machine to, uh, it's the only G3 mini tower I have, so we don't want it to go uh, go bad on us. So what I'm going to do is just lift this whole machine up, because even though I, I, so let me try and explain this better. When I undo these hinges, this whole part of the machine lifts like this. Let me move the camera back a little bit so you can actually see uh, how it's separating. So this is actually doing this, like that. So to actually operate on the thing, we're going to have to put it on its side. So that's what we're going to do. So, all right. Oh, boy. And we're going to tilt that up. And we're going to get the camera in a better spot so you can see what is going on inside of this machine. Okay, so we have some of the plastic blocking a little bit. Uh, this was 1998, I believe. So, I believe the email. Yeah, this is this has a date of nine, uh, September 98. This is a later model. I believe the email was a bit later. Uh, I, I'm sorry, a bit earlier. I think 96, 97, because when Jobs came back, email was killed. So, uh, I believe this was a little after that. I think. But uh, hey, if I find another one, I'll pick it up. I love these machines, but I only have one current one. So uh, for those of you who have never seen one before, let's let's give you a bit of a tour here. So here's the logic board. It's uh, it's actually smaller than the 9600 because uh, this only has uh, three PCI card slots and then your personality card slot here, and uh, everything else is you know pretty pretty similar to any of the later Power Max. Uh, before they went to the G3 Blue and White, just just the way it looks. I'm not saying it's identical or anything, but uh, let me explain what we got here. So uh, this mess of cables here, uh, I actually put electrical tape around here to sort of, you know, not uh, encourage these cables to snag on the metal because all of these cables are coming through here for the floppy drive, the IDE channel, the SCSI channel. Uh, yeah, I don't want them getting scratched and scraped up, but uh, that's how this machine was designed. So that's where all the cables come through. Uh, that fan is dusty. I'm going to have to clean that at some point. But uh, we have our processor here, which just sits on this uh, zip socket here. Um, and then we have three memory module uh, areas for uh, SD RAM. And uh, we have our ROM DIMM right here. And to the left of that, uh, you're going to see uh, an ATI, uh, with, uh, that focus there. That's an, a 3D Rage Pro PCI chipset. That's what that says on the uh, on the end of it. Let's see if we could if we could get the yeah the fans on the power supply. So there's there's usually fans on the power supplies. Yes, you will be getting to the voodoo. Don't you worry. So um, of course the webcam button I'm clicking doesn't want to work. There we go. Hold on, hold please. We are going to uh, adjust our camera a little bit so we could focus better. So. One moment, please, while I use one cursor with the other hand, and uh, there we go, advanced, focus, auto, turn that off, doing this with my left hand is not exactly intuitive, right, let's get closer to that, there we go, so that's a 3D Rage Pro PCI chipset. I agree, Macintosh Librarian. Yes, <laughs> they should bring back the ATI logo. I look, look at that. Look at that ATI 3D logo. That's just pretty cool. Yeah, you know what? I never got used to calling them AMD. I always still call them ATI. It's just that's what I'm used to. So now you'll see next to the chipset, there's actually a, a VRAM slot, and that is occupied. Although that was not occupied there by default, I don't believe. Um, so actually, maybe I'm talking around my butt. Hold on a second. So I think I put a new one in there, or maybe I was going to, and I, I did not. Let me see if the sticker matches the, because I have a bunch of, uh, of memory modules here, and they're all the same. Yep, no, I think that's the, uh, that's the original one in there. So we're going to swap that out. 
Uh, right now it says it has six megabytes of video memory. I believe what that means is this can take uh, two megabytes on board and four megabytes in this uh, upgrade. Now I think the chips I have are actually eight megabytes, so we're gonna we're gonna do a little brief surgery here and just see if uh, if we can upgrade that any further. Okay. So this is the uh, oh, sorry. See, now everything is screwed up with the focus and the contrast and everything. ATI, ATI. All right, let's see if this is better now. Oh, what the heck? Whenever I go to like do these manual changes with the camera, everything all screws up. So my apologies here. I'm dealing with the control panel to try and do this. Ah, uh, come on. I think that helps. All right, so uh, this is the original chip that we took out there, and here's the one we're going to replace it with. So I believe this is an eight megabyte one, and the one we took out was a four meg. So I'm just gonna just gonna put this in carefully. Yeah, so it's hard to do with the uh, with one hand. Hold, please. I'll just put the camera. Look at that. I can really use a second pair of hands sometimes. I really can. Okay, that's. Much better. Yes, the personality card does have a comm slot on it because you can uh, plug a modem into this. And there is a little slot by all those personality cards for the B3s to include a modem. Which uh, I think is the only add-on mine does not have. Although, I probably don't need that. Now do I? Okay, so we just put our little chip in there. That should be okay. Yes, I need an assistant. Uh, can the RAM be used in a PC like a ThinkPad? What do you mean, the uh, the VRAM or the, the SD RAM? The, the VRAM looks a lot like DDR memory. It is not. <laughs> it is not. Oh, this is a uh, uh, this is a voltage uh, regulator. That's what the little badge says. So that's a voltage regulator. Uh, it says voltage regulator. That's all it says. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we put in our VRAM upgrade. And you know, I'm going to take out this Ethernet card, which, I mean, it's recognized. You know what? I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to put another card in. One second. Let me grab that, uh, that G3, uh, uh, G4, rather, blue and white. Okay. I can't name these things today. Uh, the MDD. Uh, let me grab the MDD. Hello, Scarlet Swordfish. Um, and uh, we can we can get the uh, get that Ethernet card out there and see if it works in 8.6. Let me just grab that real quick. Yeah, because unfortunately the Ethernet card on this G3 is only a uh, 10 based. And that doesn't really help us when we want to transfer things over a network. It's going to take forever. <laughs> Eep! Thank you, Mike. Yes, for those of you who are not aware, I mean, I plug it now and again, but for those of you who are not aware, if you want to win yourself an iBook G4 1 gigahertz 12 inch model, that I personally owned and is now in the possession of Mike, please visit Mike's Mac Shack on YouTube, subscribe to his channel, and look at one of his recent videos about the giveaway. He gives all the details about the giveaway there. No purchase necessary. <laughs> but follow the rules in his video. It is a very nice iBook. It has like a two, three hour battery life on that thing. Most of you are probably already subscribed to his channel, but if you have not, please go there and please do. You will not be disappointed. He's putting out more videos than I am. And uh, he just got an iMac 20 inch. He just got a, a Quicksilver. There's something cool coming his way too that he told me about. So very excited. <laughs> I licked it. It's rare. That might that might decrease the value. Let's not tell anybody about that. All right, so we got that Ethernet card. That's a D-Link Ethernet card. And you know, I'm not even gonna take the Belkin one out. I'm just gonna put this right in next to it. Um, 
because I want to transfer some stuff over here before we install the voodoo card. We'll get to that very shortly, I assure, I assure you. Ah. And what I'm actually going to do, yes, there, uh, Mike put in the link to his uh, channel. Be sure you check that out. Uh, I'm actually going to just run this on its side. It's perfectly fine to do that. Uh, you can actually see how bad the rust is Ooh. on the bottom of this thing. So, yeah, we're, we're going to get that all cleaned out before it gets any worse. But I'm going to run this machine on its side so I can open it up. Actually, I can just leave it like that. <laughs> uh, well, actually, there's a CD in that CD drive. Let's let's eject the CD first. Uh, where's the paper clip? <laughs> Manually eject that CD so we don't uh, harm the poor thing. There we go. Let's get that Mac OS 8.6 CD out of there. Oh, okay, my paper clip just bent. That's a good sign. Um, oh, well, this uh, disk drive does not line up with the eject full bezel because it's a DVD ROM drive. There we go. Okay, we're going to put that disk here. And there we go. All right, cool. I did not manage to break anything that time. How about that? Okay, cool. So let's uh, flip this over upside down and uh, let's turn this back on. Oh, it would help if all the plugs were in. That is a kind of required when dealing with a computer. You need the plugs in. Otherwise, you, you shouldn't expect much. Some of these Ethernet cords just don't like the. Uh, the little dust cover on the, uh, on the port there. Really? It's going to be a pain? You're going to be a pain in the butt? Well, that one doesn't want to work. Excellent. So we'll need another Ethernet cable. <laughs> uh, fun, fun, fun. Okay, we got that. And then we just need our, our keyboard cable here. The extra long variety. There we go. All right, let's boot that up. What are some computers that you haven't collected that you want in the future? He wants all of them. All of them. Um, some of the weirder things that I haven't had before or seen before, uh, like a portable. I, again, I keep saying this. If a tan comes my way, I'm not going to object, but I'm not necessarily looking for one. Um, there's some power books that I have some parts machines. I don't have them working. Um, and there's like the 4400 desktop and just stuff like that I, I've never seen, uh, which would be cool to have. Uh, one thing I am searching for, I'm actually, actually searching for a few things. And hello, Eddie. Thank you for joining the stream. Um, a few things I'm searching for, if anybody finds it. Uh, one is a driver for a mouse. Where should I get that mouse? It's upstairs. I'll, I'll get that in a minute. Uh, one is a driver for a mouse that uh, is called a, a micro point. So if you have any control panels made micro points on your vintage Mac that you recently acquired, let me know. Um, and uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, that, there's, that's too much. I mean, I'm, I'm looking for a few things, but I have so much crap that I have so much stuff to play around with. I shouldn't really be acquiring new things at this point, but... Here we are. All right, so this is booting up again. Yes, micro point. You know what? While this boots up, let me go grab that mouse from upstairs because I want to show it to you guys. Okay, we are back. Yes, I went on a very long archive.org and Google rabbit hole last night. 
So as far as I could see, I could not find the driver for it. But this is this is what it looks like. It is a very interesting pointing device. They were also called the Felix. That was the first model of this, I think. Um, but this is an ADB model. It's called the MicroPoint. It actually says on the back what to do with the MicroPoint control panel and how to install it. And uh, Christian from the Macintosh Garden actually turned me on to this little device because he has a, a cooler looking one. This is a tinier one. But it's sort of like this little track thing. <laughs> it, it's so weird. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's like there's this little, it floats. I mean, it, I'm holding it. I'm holding it where it wouldn't be. It would be on the desk where this just glides effortlessly. And this there's three buttons. So obviously this one button will work, but the others are programmable. But it just it just glides. It's not magnetic. It's just like this little thing. I mean it's 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 really neat. Uh, this was the only Macintosh one on eBay. There is one that says it's ADB on eBay, but it's not. So if you go look around eBay right now. There's one that says ADB, but it's actually a serial port one, so don't get that one. I almost did. But yeah, it's a very interesting little thing, and you know, it's ADB port, so I'm going to be playing around with it uh, on this machine. I, I thought it was good, like, if, if I have a desk full of computers, when does that ever happen? Uh, and I don't have room for a mouse, I could use this. So that might be a, a good thing to mess around with. So, yes, it is magic. All right, so let's uh, use the correct mouse here. And uh, I just want to see if that Ethernet card shows up in System Profiler. Actually, a better place would be the control panel here. Nope, still not showing up. So there, there must be a driver or something. Uh, I'm going to hop on Macintosh Garden, if you all don't mind. Just for me, take a quick look here. I know we're sort of getting sidetracked. Have you tried Snappy Driver Installer to see if there are any drivers for it? Uh, I have not heard of that one. I have not. Snappy, huh? Okay, so let's, uh, what is this? Uh, Kingston. So Kingston had a lot of Mac stuff, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, here's some Ethernet cards. All right, Mike, we'll wake you up later. Okay, here we go. Oh, that, those are for power books, it looks like, actually. Yes, I will still be here in an hour. <laughs> uh, let's see, Kingston PC card. Blah, 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 blah. No, that's for power books. Uh, I'm just seeing if I can find a driver real quick. <laughs> Oxymoron, I know. Um, user cards are included. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, on Windows. Yeah, this is not a PC, so we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to deal with any of that. Well, let me search for the other one was D-Link. I don't think we're going to come up with any hits right away, but Uh, yeah, I actually recapped the uh, power supply of the Duo Dock already uh, over a year ago. But uh, yeah, the rest of the rest of that machine needs dock re recapping, I'm sure. Uh, no, that's all right. Don't don't worry about it. Um, let me check uh, another website. This is Macintosh Driver Museum. I'll put the website up here and network. And let's see. Oh, nothing for Kingston. So, nope. I mean, it might just work with OS 9. It might just not be compatible with, with 8.6 here. Uh, the model of this, there is no model. From what I understand, it's called the MicroPoint. The company is Ultra, A-L-T-R-A, A-L-T-R-A. And uh, they were, uh, I believe, sold sometime in the early 2000s, because I found another website, starting with the L, I forget the name of it, that was selling their products. But, uh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so that, that's all I know, unfortunately. Uh, these Ethernet cards, if anybody has to has n know anything about them, uh, one's a Kingston, one's a D-Link, but you know what? I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they were OS 10 only, so. 
Uh, let me just think real quick because I had a, uh, a Santi Fast Mac one or a Santi, however you pronounce that. And I know that's a Mac compatible one. I'm just seeing if I left it over here. Because if I did, I'll use that right away. If not, uh, we'll just skip over this part and we'll figure out a different way to get stuff onto this machine. Uh, let's see. I guess I could use the SCSI 2SD adapter. That might be one of the quicker ways to transfer files. So I want to transfer a game on here to test. But um, this is where the spreadsheet to tabulate inventory helps. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the spreadsheet doesn't tell me where I put my crap. But um, yeah, that's, that's a whole other story. But. Alrighty. Anyway. Anyway. Yes. So what I want to do then is uh, confirm the video memory in this thing. And it looks like we still have the, uh, the six megabytes here. So that adding in that Sorry about that. It, every, every time I, I switch um, scenes, sometimes it, it cuts out the audio. My, my apologies. I'll try and keep better track of that. Um, yeah, we're just going to go on Macintosh Garden here and just download some stuff. Ah, I love that typing. Typing noises. Because we have an Apple extended uh, keyboard here. Is great. From Spain, well, I'm all the way in the U.S. If if you really cannot find any, what, what I would suggest is is first off, thank you. I, it's it's very nice to hear that you're a subscriber, and I'm I'm very glad you like my videos. Uh, but uh, I'm not the only person who does recapping, and it might be more economical for yourself to reach out to somebody locally, and if. And if you can't find somebody locally, uh, what I would suggest doing, I'm sorry I'm blinding everybody here, but let me, hold on, let me switch, <laughs> and switch cameras again, one second. There we go. Uh, what I would suggest, and we're echoing, sorry. What I would suggest is if um, you go on one of the Facebook groups, like uh, Low End Mac or Vintage Macintosh Enthusiasts is another one, uh, see if someone um, can you know, who's local to you offer such services because I know just shipping something recently out of the US, it was expensive just for something small. Um, so we're welcome to talk about it. If you want to email me at mac84tv at gmail.com, uh, that's totally fine. But um, I'm not the only person that can do it. Or other people can do it better than I can. <laughs> but uh, it might be a little easier uh, if you have uh, somebody that's not uh, as far away. But just a suggestion, you're welcome to do whatever you'd like. I swear my basement is haunted. It may be. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, sorry. Let's get back to... Uh... Hello. Darn it. Every time I go to switch this thing. Uh, sorry about that. I'm just going to stick to the, 
the easy streams. No, no multi cameras for me. No multi cameras for me. But yes, welcome to the stream, Bruce. Welcome to stream everybody else. And uh, where's uh, where's our voodoo drivers here? Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I keep there, there's a, a a switch that I keep forgetting to hit every time I switch the camera. I don't know, Bruce. There's a whenever I switch the scene, it seems to like to disable one of the audio things. We had an echo before, so it's probably just me trying to configure things on the fly. Typical Steve, you know. Voodoo two. Here we go. Interesting. Ultra is an Italian word for other. It sounds like the mic is in the other room. Oh, let's make sure we're actually... Momento. Yep, we have the wrong mic. That would explain why. Un momento. Duh. Okay, there we go. So let me make sure I got this licked here. All right. Now if we go to this microphone, that's the wrong one. That one. Okay. And then if we go to... So if I double click on that, it's going to say... Nope. See, when I select my Yeti microphone and click OK, it sometimes just doesn't want to... There we go. Now got it. Now if I go to the side camera... Alright, we should all be squared away now. Sorry about that. In my rush to fix things, I selected the, the potato of a webcam microphone that I'm holding in my hand. So, hopefully, that will, uh, that will solve this issue. And you know what? We're going to, uh, we're gonna just gonna browse the web on a modern computer because, uh, I will transfer the files over when I can in a moment, but, uh, Let's uh, let's switch cameras back to where you can actually see something here. Hey, hey. and uh, we're gonna try and uh, get these drivers sorted here. All right, so okay, so we have our drivers that I'm trying to find here. 3DFX drivers. So, complete driver and utility pack for any 3DFX cards for Macintosh. Includes betas and unofficials as well. Sure. That sounds good. Potato phone. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, that downloaded a 3DFX.sit file. I've never used a Voodoo card in a Power Mac like this before, ever. So, I could be doing this completely wrong. But we're going to find out. That's We're going we're gonna to learn together. All right, so let's go to the G4 here. And I have a folder. I'm going to put this stuff in so I can find it. And we're going to say for mini tower. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Excellent. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to connect this Mac. Uh, I really need a second tripod here. Uh, we're going to connect this, or a decent capture solution. Uh, we're going to connect this machine uh, to that uh, G4. And we're going to download uh, those drivers there. Well, if it would help if I had Apple Talk enabled on the right device, wouldn't it? Yes, it would help. And I'm just trying to see if there's something I can prop the camera up with real quick. My little spare tripod's elsewhere, so I can't use that. But anyway. Yes, the nice hum of the power supply and the SCSI hard drive. That's just that's just ASMR material all over. Okay, so let's bring this a little bit closer here. I should have put the IP address in here manually. <laughs> a 
Hello. 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 Nope. It does not like that. So we have to type in. Sometimes I find with these older machines, if you type in the IP address of like a Mac OS 10 machine manually, uh, it sometimes connects to it right away. Whereas the other times they'll complain about security and broken pipes and all this crap, uh, which is not fun. <laughs> yes, it's muscle memory at this point. <laughs> no film crew, no. My wife can't be bothered, so. And now I need to find a uh, copy of Stuff It. There we go. <laughs> the best need no film crew. I am certainly not the best. <laughs> it's very, very kind, but I know I'm not the best. Uh, what I'm going to do is this, this trans, I'm warning you, this transfer is going to probably take a little bit, uh, like 20 minutes a little bit. So I'm going to save that for last. But uh, let me install stuff in here. Ah, registration numbers. Hold on. Hold, please. Super secretive registration numbers for things that are no longer available to purchase anymore. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, a good remedy is to install an FTP server. Let's say you're on the latest Mac OS. Connected. Yes, I've I've done that before. I've I haven't had why why did I open that again? Uh, and I haven't had too many issues with that. Um, I just have to set that up again. I just don't have that set up at the moment, unfortunately. So that has been a bit of a uh, a bit of a pain, but I work around it. Okay, that's a bunch of other stuff. Three. Nope. All right, you know what? I have uh, I have my own little FTP server here. Okay. Oh, that came up huge. All right. So I'm just going to get some goodies here. Wait for this to load. <laughs> Yes, I click fast, and then there's the 10 minutes of me trying to figure out what, what I broke and how to fix it. <laughs> Haste makes waste often, so. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there, I'm downloading from my FTP server. It should only take a minute. Unfortunately, again, this is, this is just 10... Uh, megabit Ethernet, so network transfers are not going to be too fast, unfortunately. You can, you can hear that hard drive. Clunk, clunk, clunk. But I guess it's happy, so that's okay. So have any of you ever played around with a Voodoo card, whether it be on a Mac or a PC? Because... I, I never really had the chance to. We had, growing up, we had a, a Macintosh 7500. Whatever built-in video capabilities it had, that's what we had. We didn't have a fancy video card for it. And uh, we didn't get a PC until... Ooh, jeez. I want to say... Let me see when that model came out. We got an E-Machines Tower... And I want to say it came out in the early 2000s. And it was an AMD based model. Yeah, K6 333 megahertz uh, PC. And that E Machines came out. Oh, come on. Uh, I can't find a date for it. Uh, I'm going to guess, because I have Windows 98 on it, I'm going to guess it came out before the year 2000 or so. so something around then. Uh, so Bruce says, I've used a Voodoo card uh, primarily for playing Carmageddon. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, never tried a Voodoo card, says Alex. I remember some arcade games 
used them, but I've always dreamt of having one, but I never used PCs. Uh, Jacob still has his e-machines. How about that? So, uh, I think I still have the motherboard for that e-machines machine somewhere. <laughs> Alright, so we have Stuff at Deluxe 7. How about that? And we have our super secret serial key, which I will guard. <laughs> oh boy. So let's just install this real quick. See how slowly I type in this key. This is very exciting, I know. Alright, we are installing. Uh, yes, it's okay to restart. Never tried a Voodoo card. Da, 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 da. Found a Voodoo 2 recently and I stuck it in my grandmom's old PC. So far, I haven't figured out how to get anything running on it in Glide. Yeah, so, Brian, from what I understand, uh, it's very particular about what games can run and what versions of games can run. So, uh, you might have to use like the original Source CDs or whatever. Uh, some of like the Steam versions of the games just don't have that support built in anymore, unfortunately. Uh, Trina says, I've seen them in PC cases I worked on back in the day, but that was as close as I got. Okay. Ah, Bruce, you're making me jealous. Yeah, we found a, a TechWorks Voodoo card on eBay a while back. It sold for 140 bucks or something like that, but it was only a 4 megabyte one or something. Uh, so Bruce says he has a TechWorks Voodoo card in his Power Computing Power Tower Pro. How about that? That that would be awesome. Now I have my little, uh, it's not a tower, but it's a Power Center Pro uh, desktop clone. Be cool to put a, a Voodoo card in there. Now I do have two Voodoo cards. I have a Macintosh one and I have a PC one. Uh, apparently you can get the Mac, the uh, PC one to work on the Mac, but uh, you have to use a different driver or something. But apparently it works pretty well. Alright, so we're just rebooting this one here. Alright, Royal Elements, thank you for the information earlier. I'll see you later. Okay, so I swear we're getting very close to having this voodoo thing installed. It's only 50 minutes in. My apologies. <laughs> power, 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 power. That's a lot of a lot of words. Somebody on Craigslist is selling some Mac clones. Close. Uh... Hey, nice, Nick. I wonder if they're close to me. No. <laughs> those those clone machines are interesting. Some of them weren't, you know, much better than Apple's offerings, but others were. Oof. So fast. <laughs> Alright, so Jacob has a 16 megabyte Voodoo 3 in his compact. Nice. Yeah, this is just a Voodoo 2. It's a, it's a 12 megabyte one, though, so that's that's not too bad. Yeah, share the link. That would be cool. The Beast. That is a good name, Alex, for a power computing Power Tower Pro. From what I heard, those, those things ran great, so... All right, so let's uh, show what this video card looks like first. So this is the Voodoo 2 card for the Macintosh. Looks very similar to the PC one, except you'll notice the video out port at the top is a Macintosh port. So there you go. Well, hello there, and uh, hello from New Jersey. Thank you for, for watching. So uh, this is a Voodoo 2 card for the Mac, and uh, as we said, the video port here is their DV15. It's not the VGA port like the PC version has. Now how these work is, this is only a 3D card. So it needs a pass-through for your built-in video card or your other video card just to get the 2D graphics and everything. So what you have to do is you have to use a cable that comes with this little pass-through cable. And this cable plugs into here. And then this plugs into the video card on your Mac, whether it be the built-in video or let's say you had an ATI card or whatever. Uh, this would plug into that, and then your monitor would plug into here. So that's how this card is situated. So what I'm going to do is install the drivers for this card, and then we're going to put the card in the machine. Alright, so we have Stuff It Now. We can expand this 3DFX folder. It's so nice to just see all different people from the world just say hello. It's it's uh, a very, very mind-blowing to me. So it's very nice and very cool. Thank you for everybody who says hi. 
All right, so we got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, we have a glide plugin, glide hack. I don't need that. What's this macvoodoo.smi? License agreement. Right, da, 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 da. So this might have been the driver from 3D FX Glide Rave. Okay, so this looks like it's it's the official installer. So let's uh, swap this over so I can show you what that looks like. Okay, so uh, we have our installer here. So what I downloaded from Macintosh Garden was this folder, this 3DFX folder. And in here is a bunch of stuff. This is a disk image, so I opened up this here. And uh, it came up with this, so here's the installer. Uh, you have three Macs at home, original Mac Mini, an LC3, and a MacBook Pro. That is not a bad collection at all. Nice little set of Macs that you got. Okay, so this is for your new Voodoo 2D 3D card. How about that? All right. We'll install. Yep, and we got reboot again. There's going to be a lot of rebooting, I think. <laughs> going to have to do a lot of rebooting with this. But that's okay. That's okay. So that's going to boot up. Um, I'm not installing the cords just yet. We'll do that in a second. Uh, I'll have to take out the Ethernet cords, but they don't seem to want to work anyway, so that's okay. Hey, Ben. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. I always say chat. Stream, whatever this is. <laughs> welcome to the party. <laughs> All right, so we uh, installed the drivers in the Voodoo card. Uh, I'm about to install the Voodoo card into the machine. Very curious of installing this, too. Maybe we'll just put both of them in. This is a 3D Rage... Pro. Oh, this is an AGB card. Is it? No, it's a PCI card. Well, the chipset says AGP on it. So, all right. Well, we can plug that in. LC3 was from work, a publishing company. They were going to chuck it in the bin. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad you got it. So, yeah, this is a, this is an ATI uh, 3D card. It's probably not too much better than the one that's in this machine, but this is, uh, has your, uh, video in and a video out. You know, that's probably complicated things. You know, let me just, I always complicate things and then things don't work. So let's try and avoid that this time. I know for once, let's try and avoid it. So let's just stick to the built-in video for the 2D stuff. And, uh, if I go to the control panel, it's probably going to yell at me because we don't have anything installed. Yep. All right, so let's shut this machine down and install this card here. Ooh, we can just hear that drive spinning down. Wow, that's a, that's a noisy card there. Noisy, noisy drive. I have cards in the mind. All right, let's uh, take out these Ethernet cards. So that is one. And we'll mess around with those later. And uh, we're going to install this uh, Voodoo card here. And I know the camera is not really seeing it. So let's, that's probably the best we're going to get. Alright, so we'll put this uh, right here. Right, let's put it in the middle. Let's not put it in the last slot there. Okay, and let's uh, put in this little screw so it doesn't go anywhere. You need to make a video where it's just the sound coming from the vintage Mac while you use it. <laughs> yeah, I did a I did an April Fool's ASMR video jokingly, and uh, a lot of people actually liked that stuff and wanted more. <laughs> so maybe I'm in the wrong business. Who knows? All right, that card's not going anywhere. That's nice and snug. Yes, the jet engine has been temporarily shut down. Actually, we'll just leave it like that. That's okay. Um, okay, so let me, uh, let's bring over the other camera, maybe. So you can sort of see all the ports here and how we're plugging everything in. 
Okay, let's see if we get a little closer. There we go. Okay, so what we're doing is um, we're going to be plugging in our video cable. So this this whole setup will work correctly. So um, here's the Voodoo card, and here's the built-in video on the Mac. That is actually obscured here, but it's it's right on the bottom here. Let's screw this connector. And uh, since the monitor I'm using is VGA, I have to have a DV15 to VGA adapter. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Let's put that aside. And uh, here goes nothing. We're going to plug in this cord here. Uh, yes, uh, Waz, when he was on the, the uh, online Newton conference a few weeks ago, mentioned that he was filming something. I wonder if that was uh, what he was filming. That would have been cool. Oh, my mouse is in the way. Sorry about that. Okay. Do you ever plug your G3 into a Hi-Fi? Well, I can. I do have an iPod Hi-Fi upstairs. Uh, this video card, a uh, personality card rather sure supports that, so that wouldn't be a bad idea to do, I guess. All right, let's uh, plug the video out into the Voodoo card there. So everything should be there. Okay. Yeah, I think they're gonna post those videos soon, so. Okay, so everything is plugged in, so we have our Voodoo card in this slot, and we have our adapters connected here. So let's uh, try and uh, put everything in working order, I guess. So let's go back here and uh, let's boot the machine up. Hopefully we get some video and uh, we will go from there. So let's boot it up. So, uh, A. Aaron, uh, where are you located? Yes, Bruce beat me to it. Uh, depending on where you're located, we have some answers for you. Ohio, okay. Well, uh, I know a few people who are not too far away from you. Uh, my friend Jay from the House of Moth and Mac Yak does some recapping. Um, but uh, he's located in Ohio. So that's probably not a bad idea. And if for some reason he can't do it, I could probably take a, a snap at it. But... Uh, might actually be better with me, only because I have the machine to test it with, whereas Jay does not. Um, so, if you want to send me an email at mac84tv at gmail.com, I'd be happy to discuss it with you, and we'll see if we can work something out. Or, at the very least, I could point you in some other directions. So, I've been saying my email a lot, but let's, let's actually... Uh, Oh, I went to type it and I think I broke something. Hold on. There we go. Oh, nice. That's that's a very professional way of doing it. That's awesome. There we go. For any inquiries or questions or anything, you're you're welcome to send me an email there. Alright, so we're booting into 8.6. Uh, we should have our Voodoo uh, drivers installed. So hopefully, we can confirm that this card works, then we'll, we'll play some games. How about that? Alright, so that's a problem. We have a big X through our extension there. Maybe we just have the wrong version. Let's, uh, let's stay optimistic here. Well, our resolution changed. And we have a... Uh, oh, that, that was always there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no qualifying 3DFX hardware could be found. Huh. Well, that's, uh, that's not good, is it? Let me, let me read this readme. Maybe this was for the Voodoo 3. All we have is a license agreement. That, that doesn't really... That doesn't really help. But... Uh, uh, yeah, this is... This may not be for the Voodoo 2. It may be for the Voodoo 3. That's the only thing I could guess. Well, shoot. Um... Let's check System Profiler, see if it recognizes anything. We're still reading the machine at 500 megahertz for some reason, but I assure you it is not. Alright, so it does recognize it as a video card, and the pass-through is working. But, uh... It's not happy otherwise. Let me try and think of what it could be here. Um, let me switch the other camera so we're not, we're not ignoring you here. Um, maybe there's a different download on Macintosh Garden? That could be it. I, after all, just selected the first one I saw. Let's see what we got. So I'm just looking at... So 3D effects on Macintosh Driver Museum has some stuff. So we have the TechWorks Power 3D driver, which is a Voodoo 1 card. Uh, we have Beta Voodoo 2 drivers, but I don't know if that's what I want here. <laughs> oh, currently under construction. Oh, that's great. Um, I guess the Beta cards is what I want. I, I, I don't know if they had anything that was not Beta, to be honest. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to guess they're all the, the same. I mean, look, it, it could simply be that the beta drivers are what's out there. I just don't know. So let's... Uh, just do another search for 3D effects. Because I see uh, another download of Macintosh Garden. Oh, this this is the one where I got my iMac one from. Uh, 3D effects. Uh, let's see... All right, so this 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 page actually looks more respectable. Let's load that up on here since we have the internet working, and we should just be able to download that. Let's go to apps slash three D FX. So go directly to that site. All right, Bruce, I will take a look. Ah, uh, thank you. Now let's see how we can download that. <laughs> oh, boy. That should do it. Alright, so I'm just going to download these just for the heck of it. So we have um, a few different downloads here. We have Voodoo Beta version 5. Alright, so let's just download all these. They're, they're not too big. And then I'll grab the one that Bruce sent me here. Thank you, Bruce. Okay, so that should, let's hope we're not uh, going to freeze our machine by trying to do too much at once here. All 
Alright, Bruce, you're... Oh, it looks like it's the same one I downloaded, but you know what? Let's, uh, I'm gonna grab it anyway, just in case yours is slightly different, but with a different name. Alright. Hey, Mike. Welcome back from your nap. So we put the card in, but it doesn't look like we have the right drivers, so... We're just downloading some drivers and seeing if that fixes the problem. Yeah, so uh, the best way to make a bootable disk for another old Mac is to have another old Mac. <laughs> That's honestly the easiest way. Um, you could get an adapter, like one of these SCSI 2SD adapters. They run about uh, 50 60 $70.00. And uh, it takes an uh, SD card that you could write on a semi-modern Mac. And then you could boot from that. It acts as a hard drive. Um, that is one way. Um, or you can get uh, some CDs. If you have an external CD drive, you could burn a CD. Um, there are places that also uh, do uh, make floppy disks for you as well. Um, it's probably best if you go on the low-end Mac Facebook group. Or if you send me an email at mac84tv at gmail.com, I could probably point you in, the, in, a, in a good direction there. All right, so we downloaded that driver from Bruce, so let's open that up. Thank you again, Bruce. And I guess it, we should probably uninstall the stuff that we put on here that <laughs> was not compatible. Uh, I doubt there's an uninstaller. Well, let's just double check. Custom remove. There we go. Yes, and Bruce is 100% correct there. Um, the, the lower the OS version is probably the better, especially the processor and the memory of that thing. All right, well, we have to reboot again. So, In fact... put this tower back right side up because I'm going to have to put some CDs in here in a little bit. So now is a good time as any. Oh boy. Ugh. It's a heavy boy. Ugh. So lift this back up so we can access discs properly. Alright. Let's try it again. Here, listen to this hard drive. That's a hard drive. What I like about this hard drive, there's a little LED light on there. A little access light. See it blinking away. Ben, that's a good way to welcome you back. I was trying to get your attention. <laughs> yes, there are ways to make floppies with a PC. I'm just not familiar with them, so that's, that's why I don't suggest them, because I have no I have no experience in that area, so I don't want to mislead anybody. Okay, and then we got another message. Hold on, please. A zip file. Unable to expand. <laughs> well, Bruce, whatever you sent was not happy. But anyway, uh, let's uh, let's take a look here. So. Let's open that Voodoo 2 Beta one. There's a README file. That might be helpful. Alright, so you need a Voodoo card. A Voodoo 2 card. iMac cards are not supported. That's fine. This isn't the iMac card. A 
Alright, problems with OS9. Well, thankfully, we're not running OS9. Alright, so into extensions folder. Well, here we go. Let's view this as a list, make sure we're selecting everything. Come on. That's alright, Bruce. Alright, so I just want to make sure the ones that we put in here are the the ones that should be in here. You know what? Let me let me I'm a little concerned that it might have not overwrote the ones that it should have supposed to overwrite. Let me just do that again. Do you want to replace? Yes. Okay, so it did. All right, that's fine. All right, so let's trash that. So we're going to have to reboot again. So let's uh, restart. A lot of a lot of rebooting. That's how, that's how vintage computers are. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, sorry this is a little boring. I know we've been going on for a while trying to set this up. We got some some fun games and such to try when we do. So let me get the, let me get those prepared. I guess. Where did those CDs go? Oh, he's losing everything. Uh, the heck, did I put those stupid things? Oh, they're right over there. Okay, we'll grab those in a minute. Well, let's make sure this card is actually recognized. Hey, Matt, welcome to the chat, stream, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's get some of those CDs here. Okay, great. Video output on my Quadra 700 is very fuzzy. It's something unusual for that model with electrical noise or some sort. PSU has not been recapped. Uh, I don't have a 700 myself, but if you are, if you are dealing with a fuzzy video it might be the adapter you're using or some noise uh are you using a, a macintosh crt or using a vga adapter now let's uh let's do a test here that's right there was a there was a a voodoo test on macintosh garden that I used on the iMac. Let's get that on here. Oh, that's a wait. That was a big file. Let me see if I could just get the test from that. Uh, because there's no way I could see. There's there's no control panel or anything. Um, if I go to System Profile, it might tell me something different. But short of having a game installed, uh, I don't know if there's anything that will. Tell me. So if you're using a VGA adapter, you might want to try the dip switches and make sure they're, if it has dip switches, to make sure they're in the correct position. Uh, that might help you out there. Uh, but if it's fuzzy, it just might be that if you're running at like a 640 by 40 resolution on a high definition monitor, things might just look a little different. But it sounds like you're, you're running into some uh, interference issues, which is, uh, you know, problematic. 
So hopefully that could be resolved. I'm just searching for that file here so I could unstuff it. Why is Dreamweaver opening up? No, 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 no. Let's quit that. It's not what I wanted. So we're just going to try and confirm to make sure this, uh, this card is installed here. Oh, it's only 30 megs. I thought it was much larger than that. Well, either way, this is faster. So let me just open that up. And we'll just copy over that uh, one test file here. Okay, so yeah, if I go to that PCI card, it still, just still says video too. That's probably to be expected. Alright, and... Uh, nope, that's not where I want to go. Let's go back to choose. I'm just going to connect to our server here. Alright, let's hope this does it. So let's double click on this. Open it. There's a test here. Okay, so that's copying over. So if we open this up, wait for that to copy. All right. All right, so we have our 3DFX test folder here and our game updates. Those may or may not be useful. <laughs> Depending on if we get this darn thing to work. Uh, that very well could be the case. Uh, I have not run into that issue personally, but that doesn't mean that it's not possible. Um, I don't know, Bruce, have you ever had any experience of... Anything like that, you get a fuzzy video signal, it might have been uh, maybe some noise from the PSU. Oh, well, thank you, Alex. At least you, you got some more progress than I did. <laughs> yeah, I put out a, a search on Twitter for those drivers, too, so maybe somebody has it. I might even have it on an old hard drive somewhere, I just never ran across it. Apparently, the driver works on System 6, so it could be on anything. Ah, uh, 10 megabyte ethe megabit Ethernet. Very, very slow. Very slow. All right, cool. Let's get this going now. So, let's see if this 3DFX test actually works. Hey, okay. think so. There's a, there's a, a set of uh, commands for this. Let's read this. Uh, T, L, and C. Okay, let's try that. Alright, well, we have our, uh... <laughs> we have our little test diagram here. So this was the test that was running on the iMac, so we know the Voodoo card is hopefully <laughs> installed. Uh, I would hope. So that's good. Um, so let's, let's try game or something. All right, great, Aaron. Nice to hear that. Awesome. All right, so what we got here? We have Unreal Tournament. We have Quake. And we have Weekend Warrior. Let's... See, there's a, a full folder of Unreal Tournament that's already installed. But by the time I transfer it over the network, it's, it's going to take 25 minutes. So uh, installing it from the CD will not take that long, hopefully. That's why I was trying to mess around with getting a, uh, a card, which uh, unfortunately did not work out. So let's... Try and eject the disc. There we go. Well, 
Wait for the CD to appear on the desktop. There we go. And let's install this. Hello, Dana. Just in time. We are installing Unreal Torment on our G3 Mini Tower. And uh, we have our Voodoo Cord installed. We're going to see how one run it well. Uh, how well it runs. Ugh. And go while we're doing this. Let's just make sure we have our our files all set up here. So that's installing now. Okay, cool. And let's just download the uh, update for this because I want to make sure that we're going to compare apples to apples here. I should have kept that server connected. All right, and let's uh, just grab that update file here. Yes, there is. So the, the Classic 2, um, although it doesn't have a built-in Ethernet port, um, there you can get a SCSI to Ethernet adapter. Um, there were probably other adapters that were made for it, but they're probably very hard to find. The SCSI to Ethernet adapters aren't exactly easy to find today anyway. Um, you can also get some adapters that go from uh, local talk to Ethernet, but not all of them support TCP IP. So... Internet protocols aren't exactly going to help you there, but th there are ways. You you need to make sure you have enough memory though, <laughs> because uh, uh, trying to get on the internet with uh, let's say four megs of memory is a bit of a challenge. Not that it can't be done; it could be done with a meg uh, on a Mac Plus running text-only pages, but uh, it is a challenge. So, all right, so we're just running the update here. <laughs> I'm glad to know Thursday's okay, Bruce. Yeah, you know, with 10 megabytes of memory in like System 7 or even, well, System 6 would fly, but System 7 or 7.1 may have better connectivity options for you. Um, I have one of those Asante uh, Ethernet to SCSI adapters, and they work pretty well. Um, but uh, you're kind of limited to what you could do on a Classic 2. Uh, it's not like an SE30 where you have a nice expansion slot and stuff like that. Not that they're bad machines, though. He must be, Danny. He's going to miss out on some Unreal Tournament fun, so... Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so this is just doing the update. It's just going to take its, its time for a minute. But... I think we're we're almost there. It took us so long to install this thing and get the drivers for it. So I'm very happy that we finally have the drivers installed. It, it ran that little test, which seemed to be running okay. So that's good. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, yes, this is UT99. <laughs> I have to eat dinner, so that's why I want to get the playing to this. So I can finish playing and eat dinner. <laughs> my dinner is always cold by the end of my stream. So, by the end of my stream, so. Well, come on, Dana. Download it. Let's get going. One verse one. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find the Tomb Raider CD. I actually might have left it inside the iMac because it's not in the case here. But uh, we have some other games. We have Weekend Warrior. Uh... Duke Nukem 3D, and Quake. But I think Quake 2 is the one that uh, has rave support. I'm not sure. Yep, UT99. Ah, don't worry, Dana. It'll be all worth it once you're all 
all set up. Then you could have all your machines set up in your basement. That'll be really cool. I want to see a tour of that. <laughs> okay, this is taking its sweet time to install, but it might have been the one you had on your Power Mac. Uh, this is the only Mac OS 9 classic or Mac OS classic version of Unreal Tournament. All the ones that came after were uh, Mac OS 10 only. And this one isn't really available on OS 10 unless you count the betas, which don't really run that well. Yes, yeah, so this is an uh, Exclaim VR Pro video card. I think I got this in a 95 or 9600. Well, that's interesting. There's a little sticker on the back, and it says use memory module 4 megabyte or 8 megabyte. So maybe this could support 8 megabytes. Who knows? I'll have to plug this in. Well, Jay, if you were here earlier on the stream, which you weren't, you would have heard that I was trying to install a 10, uh, 100 megabit Ethernet adapter to get the drag and drop folder onto the system. Because when I drag and dropped it over 10 megabit Ethernet, it's going to take 25 minutes to copy. So this is much faster, sir. Uh, this version, the actual vanilla install, does require the CD. Some of the downloads do not. Uh, a zip drive can only hold 100 megs, sir. You're forgetting yourself. <laughs> and we're installed anyway, so... Alright, let's, uh... Let's see how this runs. <laughs> so I'm going to situate the camera in a place where you guys can actually see this too. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's let's get this. Uh, how can we do this here? Right, you know what? That's not a bad idea. This webcam has a clip for a monitor, so we'll use it the opposite way. There we go. That's not too bad, is it? So, let's uh, <laughs> use this in a way it was not intended. Well, thank you, Aaron. Yeah, we, we try to help. If, if, if I don't have the answer, somebody in the chat usually does. And uh, I mean, the Facebook groups are good and all, but... Uh, if we could help you, we'll try and help you. All right, so I'm going to click on this. Oh, okay. Well, if you want to send it again, Bruce, uh, it's probably not a bad idea to have. Okay, here we go. Look at that. 3D Glide FX. I'm sorry, 3D FX Glide. There we go. So now, we got it working, apparently. Let's click continue. It's automatically chosen my settings. High quality sound, high detail player skins, high detail textures, standard video resolution. Let's test it out. Well, hello, Sean. We just got our uh, Voodoo driver set up. We're about to play Unreal Tournament and test things out for the first time. So this is a 333 megahertz G3 mini tower. And... Uh, we have 640 megabytes of memory. We got a 12 megabyte Voodoo 2 card in. Uh, Blake was unavailable. He was not at home. So when I texted him a while back, he said he will when he gets home. Let's see if he responded. Uh, no, he's on the road right now, but we'll see. Now, I'm not using a puck mouse, but I am using just the regular Apple mouse. Just listen to that hard drive. combination of the CD drive and the hard drive, I don't know which is worse. Uh, 
I do have a USB card, but uh, I'm, I'm, I only have one slot left on this Mac. I wish this Mac, like that prototype that uh, was shown off in one of uh, Ken from the Computer Clan's videos, uh, he, there was a, a, supposed to be a G3 tower with more, uh, with more slots. Uh, yes, this does have IDE, but, uh, this is not, uh, this is not being used. It's, it's using the SCSI drive. So, th th this is not a, uh, a, a blue and white. This is actually a beige tower. So, has a side door off of it, but that's what we got right now. Okay, here we go. So the video is very dark. Let me turn off this uh, this light. It's going pretty smooth though. Oh, wrong light. There we go. Ah. Okay, well, Trina, we are just about to get started. There we go. We are running at uh, eh, 20 frames per second or so. Well, these this SCSI drive is uh, is is a 10,000 RPM drive, I believe. So, well, this is a faster processor with a better video card. So we'll, we will we will see how this runs. I have to actually do some. So take some notes and stuff to make sure I, I actually am comparing things apples to apples here. But uh, let's take a look at everything here. So 640 by 480. High and high. Let's turn off dynamic lighting because that sometimes takes a bit of a hit. Uh, we'll, we'll boost up all the settings later. I'm just trying to see some things here. So we're just going to change our name there. You know what, Mike? Your ears do not deceive you. How about that? Mike Mike has that special sense of of hearing. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, you're not going to really be able to hear much of the sound, but uh, I'm not going to play too much. I just want to see how the frame rate works here. Skip the tutorial here. <laughs> they're great hard drives. They are. They're loud, but boy, are they pretty quick. Well, you put the CD-ROM in. Uh, if you don't have the CD-ROM, you could use Toast to mount the image, or you can probably get a no CD patch or fix. All right, so just sitting here, we're at like 60, I can't even read it. It's like 50 or 60 frames per second. Oh, we have to configure the keyboard. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Okay, so this is, this is really smooth. This is like 60 frames per second. I didn't even get a gun. I'm so excited. This is this is really smooth. Jeez. I mean, granted, we're on a pretty small map, and there's only uh, there's only one player here. But this is really really smooth. <laughs> His head just came right off. He was almost at the health. It's almost there, but he, he didn't quite make it. Kablamo. This is, I mean, hey, I'd, I'd consider this impressive for like a, a blue and white G3. I mean, this is... <laughs> Now what I want to do is what I have to do is I want to run uh, run this on the ATI card, like the 16 meg ATI card. If I have a if I have a, a PCI one, and just see the frame difference between them. <laughs> oh, 
this is this is just too much fun. See now that this this turns into the part of the stream where Steve just plays UT for forever. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna complete this match, and then we'll see if uh, we can try something else too. But this is running phenomenally. Now we are at 640 by 480, so this is not the uh, the best resolution or anything. Oh come on, die already! There we go. No wonder my videos go for hours. Yes, that's part of it. And there we go. No matter what machine I'm on, it always stalls for a second. I think it spins up the CD drive. But uh, yeah, sorry, Blake. Not the not the Blake that hosts the server, but the computer break. Blake. Okay. All right. Cool. So that ran pretty well. Okay, so um, I'm not going to play the whole thing. I just want to see if the frame rate takes a dip when there's two CPUs. Blake is not Jay, unfortunately. Jay is not that easy to kill. Now, if Jay set up one of his G3 towers, we could be playing right now. But no. just going to send this to... Uh the guy who runs the server. All right, cool. So let's uh, <laughs> just check the iMac and hover on thirty. So we're we're almost double then, almost. I'll have to do a direct comparison and, and such, but so this is running about same, about fifty, right now. I have no gun. I just have the, the little gun. Yeah, all right, we're 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 in the, the, the high 30s. We got two people. Two people trying to get me. Ah. Go fight you with yourselves. I don't want anything to do with you. How about that? <laughs> so that was the iMac uh, G3 Bondi Blue one that I... Uh, also have a voodoo card in. All right, so yeah, this this runs at pretty respectable rate. Right? Let's uh, let's change the settings here. Let's change this to 800 by 600. And uh, let's see how big of a a dip this takes. Actually, it's it's running about the same. Holy crap! <laughs> That's pretty good. Wow. It looks great, too. Wow. <laughs> I'd, I'd almost say it runs better, but I, that would be silly, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop shooting me. I only got the stupid gun. Well, see, now you're dead. Now you did too. <laughs> yeah, I mean this game the, the, even if you have a very low end graphics card and you set the settings to low, it will run all right. You know, it's 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 not like the games of today where everything is not optimized or anything. They they really when they ported these games to the Mac, they wanted to sell as many units as possible and that included making sure it ran on machines that didn't have the best video card. So Whoa, got me. So I think the LCD did not run with the IMAX, Steven, because um, the refresh rates. So this Mac right here is meant to be driven with an external monitor, while that iMac wanted to keep the same refresh rates of that internal CRT. It was not designed uh, for the way I was using it, so therefore... Uh, when I was trying to run it at special resolutions, it was looking for a refresh rate that this LCD monitor just simply did not support. So that was why I was running into that issue, why I had to have the, the CRT. Now, maybe in different resolutions, it would have worked a little bit better, but uh, yeah. 
Yeah, so there we go. At 800 by 600, it still runs pretty well. Uh, these are just bots. They're just computers. They're not uh, They're not anybody actual, Trina. Uh, just catching up on the chat here. Sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, 30 frames per second is not bad at all. In 1998, that was that was pretty pretty good. Oh, uh, the CRT looks nicer in person because it's it's not as um, you know it's sharper. It's easier on the eyes. Um, but either way, I, I play either way. It doesn't doesn't really matter too much. Now let's get silly. Let's uh, let's boost this up to a, a crazy uh, 1024 by 768. It's not going to run well. I can tell you that. But I am curious. I believe this is a uh, a 1280 by I don't I don't honestly don't know off the top of my head it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty good resolution I think it's like uh, was it um, uh, 1024 by 1280 or something like that I'm I'm not entirely sure to be honest with you the the Mac usually just automatically detects and I just usually leave it on there oh it didn't save my uh, well either way that's fine. I exited out of it. But yeah, this is one of the old uh, 4x3 displays my office was chucking. I have one or two still, but this one has all the inputs. It has uh, composite, VGA, DVI, S-Video. The other ones I have are usually just VGA or DVI. Oh, that's weird. So it, it's not actually running at the uh, resolution I set. Maybe it it got upset. <laughs> Let's try and fix that. No, I guess it can't do 1024 by 768 because it, it refreshes it back. That's fine. Um, let's use dynamic lighting. Let's see how much of a change that makes. Oh, it still runs so smooth. Just Like, wow. So... At least with this game, we can't pump up the resolution any higher, but honestly, 800 by 600 is, is not a bad resolution for a game like this. Obviously, if you're going to be playing on a PC or whatever, you could set it whatever you'd like and turn all the bells and whistles on. But for back in the day, this was very impressive. Wow. Yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. Let's let's see if we could uh, we try a different game here. So that was Unreal Tournament. Uh, we could try Weekend Warrior. So let's eject this CD here. Oh, what happened to the CD? Did... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the heck was that about? It didn't want to eject. I think it just it just put the let's let's try it again. There we go. So Weekend Warrior is a game by Bungie, the same people who went on to make Halo. Halo was originally supposed to come out for the Mac, and un unfortunately it did not. Oh! Now Blake tells me that his UT server is now online. So we have to go test that out. We can't leave him hanging. He, he turned it on just for me. So... Put the CD back in the CD drive. Give that a shot. Alright, so, uh... Let's try it. Yeah, the, the Halo ports on the computers are very poor. <laughs> Max Payne, yeah, I, I played on the PlayStation. I never played it on the computer, I don't think. I'll have to try that out. Yeah, there's a there's a stack of other games I'm gonna try. I'm probably gonna just try one or two more and then uh, call it call it a night. But uh, I'm glad we got the card working. Obviously, my next step is to compare uh, this machine versus the iMac and actual specs, and then compare it when you know running just your your standard ATI card that would have came with the machine. So. Uh, I'm very curious of all the 
the different things we could run. <laughs> I know I got some, a lot of feedback and, and uh, comments on my last iMac Voodoo video that I did. So I want to make sure I, I run a lot of tests. That's the whole point again this stuff is to tinker around and see how well things can run. Alright, so we're just loading the CD here. I just want to jump into Blake's server. Loading objects. Loading objects. Oh no, Trina, that sounds very unfortunate. I'm sorry. Hey, Micro Major Pair. Thank you for joining the stream. So we're loading up Unreal Torment again. We just had it open, but Blake uh, from the PowerPC Gaming Lounge said his server is online, so I, I want to try and uh, and see if it works. Alright, cool. So, uh, I am honestly not sure. Again, I, I wasn't really a, a, a huge person that had a lot of knowledge or use of this voodoo stuff back in the day. So, uh, you're, I mean, I, I'm supposing they could, but I'm not sure. It's a very good question. Alright, let's uh, find uh, an internet game here. Let's, uh, no, we don't have a modem. We have a LAN connection. And uh, let's open the IP address here. All right. Let's see if that wants to work. Didn't seem to like it with the port in there. Send him a picture here. Hey, Orlando! You're just in time. We'll be. I wish I could play Jay, but he doesn't have a, a classic Mac that is set up with this game, unfortunately. So let's let's try this again. Let me. I mistyped something there. Yeah, play.rabbitan.com. Let's try without the port number. Maybe something screwed up there. Up oh, there we go. Yep, without the port number worked fine. And uh, I have the password here. Everybody saw that, sorry. <laughs> Mike's Mac Shack, he fights for the users, man. Uh, it's downloading all these files. <laughs> <laughs> All these maps and stuff that I don't have. Ah, uh, the good old days. Imagine doing this over dial-up, because I remember doing that this over dial-up. By the time I would download all the assets, the next map would have started, and I had to download them all over again. The big pain. The big pain. <laughs> oh, boy. That's all right, Taj. There's always a rewind button for a reason. Don't worry. <laughs> It's a downloading. I am on Blake's server. It does have Ethernet, but it's only 10 megabit Ethernet, Jay. I guess I could skip, but I don't know if that's going to actually work. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to skip. It's going to take a while, but... <laughs> Orlando, where do you get these ideas? 
Because <laughs> you are spot on. <laughs> Yes, so Alex, I have two Ethernet cards, but they may not be uh, compatible with the Mac OS Classic, like 8 or 9, because one was an OS X machine, and the other I was given with this Voodoo card, and the guy couldn't test it. So I, I'm really not sure. There might just be a driver out there I don't have, or it might be Mac OS 9 only, who knows. Um, I do have an Asante one that, that I know does work, I just don't have it in front of me. But I'll try that in another stream, because I'd like to set up... Uh, something with the uh, you know faster than 10 megabit because when I'm doing transfers like that it's gonna take forever oh, that was very exciting sorry in the middle of the night my grandma still uses a modem and a performer are you serious Nick wow that's dedication what type of performer Okay, great, Alex. I could I could definitely help you out by responding. Well, you could help me out, rather. All right, there we go. Success. I hear the CD drive spinning up. That I means we're almost there. Hopefully. Hopefully. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh boy oh I remember this map oh boy so we got let's see how many bots oh, we we're going to join here I'm curious what email service still connects to a performer alright let's put the uh, this frames per second back on alright we're 30 we got oh, we got a uh, bunch of bots here oh we're this is, uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't think, I think my internet connection is so good right now on this G3. Because look at the lag. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's, uh, a little bit of a, a lag there. <laughs> uh, uh, Power PC Gaming Lounge is the Facebook group. All right, let's see if this this will. What a little whoop! Now it froze. Oh, oh, we got. Stop! Stop adding bots, Jay. The machine can't handle it. <laughs> See, whenever, whenever the bot comes, it just freezes. At least I got a headshot. Ah, thanks, Jay. Appreciate it. But we're running out of a good... Uh, about 30 frames per second or so. Oh, in the goo I go. There's no sound. Maybe I lowered the sound. I can't hear when people are shooting at me. <laughs> But this is this is not funny. It's a uh, it's it's dipping up into the 40s every now and again. It really depends, I guess, of how many people are around me. I do see it going up to the 50s as well. Finally got that guy. Yeah, so I mean, it is totally playable online as long as you don't have, I guess, too many people or the map isn't too huge. But to be honest, this map is pretty big, so that's good. Go. That takes care of that guy. Now, which is the control? 
Yeah, option. Okay. Whoops. I keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> It's still fun to play, even on an old machine. I'm surprised how well this is handling it, to be honest. Whee! Yeah, so we're still... This is a... See, when there's nobody around, it's about 45, 50. But uh, someone's here. There we go. And so that dipped down to around the 30s or so. Still not bad at all. <laughs> We're running on a 333 megahertz machine here. So I'm, I'm quite satisfied with the results. So. <laughs> yeah, this, this, I mean, there are just some games that Although the sequels and everything are fun, it's just that, I don't know, it's hard to replicate the first one. There's just, to me, the first one, there's a bit more feedback of, like, it's, I don't know, it's hard to describe. Like, it's a bit more responsive, I'd say. But, um, it, it's also a much, you know, it's not as a, Graphical intensive or anything like that. How much should I pay for all of my computers? I uh, I I got into collecting Macs a long time ago when nobody wanted this stuff and everything was cheap. So really, not a lot to be honest. I think the most I spent on a single computer was probably this G3 Mini Tower, a vintage computer. This was three hundred dollars, but this was back in the early two thousands when, um, you know that. That was not actually a bad price. So my rockets have hidden. I can't. I can't uh, see my rockets. There we go. So, I mean, these are beta drivers after all. But I would. Uh, I would assume that these are pretty well tested. Up oh, into the goo I go again. <laughs> But yeah, this is this is running pretty well. Pretty well. I know you guys are probably bored of watching me play this game, but uh, I'm just having fun. So uh, we can try Weekend Warrior in a second. That would be a uh, a fun one to try. I've never played that before. I think it's an FPS though, so it's probably more of the same type of of stuff. It's throwing me off. I don't have I don't have. I'm used to the scroll wheel for the weapons, <laughs> and I'm used to the, uh, the alternative fire, and I don't got that. Plus, the sound's not on. I, I don't know if that's, uh, if I just screwed up something there, or if, uh, something's going on, but. Where'd the other guy go? He's always getting that shield. <laughs> no, I'm not going to play the whole thing. Let's play for a few more minutes and I'll stop. Yeah, why don't you change... Oh, change it to Morpheus. Change it to Morpheus, Jay. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll... Oop, I killed myself. That'll take me back. Yeah, I mean, this, this does have speakers... Uh, let me let me do this. Let me exit to the desktop. And let me make sure the sound is on. Oh, now the sound is working. When I exit into Windows mode, the sound is working. Now I can't get it back. What the heck? Oh man, did it mess up? Yeah, I can't. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, this is this is the mini tower model with the AV personality card. Never had a problem with it before. Thank you, Jay. This is a uh, Blake server.
<laughs> this map. It's not as floaty as the 2004 one. <laughs> Oops. Oops. No, no, no. I want the other one. <laughs> you know, back then, these, these graphics looked much better than they do now. I mean, it, I tell you what, they did. It looked a lot sharper. <laughs> Maybe it was the CRT. I don't know. <laughs> this is a, this is still this is at uh, about 30, 35 frames per second or so average. Hard to see. Hard to see who's shooting at me. Yeah, it's it's dropping a few frames here and there, but it's it's really not that bad. I mean this this game was very, you know. You have a lot of stuff going on. I can see it. It's sort of getting a little chunky here and there, but. Oh, see, I couldn't even. I couldn't even uh, grab that. How about that? Yes, now the audio works. When I minimized the machine I, and the application, I came back. The audio started working. So I, I don't know why it uh, stopped, but. Uh... Oh, there I go. Whee! Well, why don't you come in here, Jay? Oh, wait, you can't. It's it's going to backfire on me when he finally gets one of his machines working. <laughs> I could trash talk him all I want now because he's not... Who's shooting me from behind? These bots have no honor. Nope. <laughs> right in the back. Yeah, Mike. Come on. Just blew me off the side of the, the mountain there. The tower, whatever the heck it's called. Well, hard drive's accessing something. Oh, somebody entered the game. It's... it's Mike! It is Mike! Jay, take away the bots. Let, let's just be me and Mike. <laughs> Oh boy. Where'd Mike go? <laughs> oh boy. I missed. <laughs> oh, that's not fair anyway. Oh, I can't even make that jump. Well, you know, the hard drive making that noise is normal for this machine, so what the SCSI hard drive sounded like. So, I mean, that's a healthy noise. Whoop! Hey, Mike! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Is that some sort of mod? Where <laughs> after you die, you get exploded? That's really funny. Hey, GT! Now, so now I guess it's just Mike and I one on one for the re remainder of the stream. <laughs> Where are you, Mike? Oh, 
I got me more than I got him. <laughs> I'm, I'm very surprised of how this runs. I'd, I'd, I'd be interested in comparing this to uh, like a G4 with a, a Rage card and just see the, the difference. Which would run it better, etc. <laughs> Sorry, you fell a long way down, Mike. This might be the first beige G3 in a while to touch this server. <laughs> or beige tower. I'm used to the double jumping. There's only the, the single jump. Oh, invisibility? I didn't want that, but I'll take it. Mike, you are flying! <laughs> Behind you! Oh, I'm still invisible. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we are on the uh, the Blake server, uh, Blake's uh, UT server. Anybody wants to join? Jay's putting the info in the chat. You just need UT Classic. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this is, let, let me set a time limit on this because we're going to be going forever if it's just the two of us. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the old hard drives are a lot louder. These these aren't too bad. <laughs> oh man. Good night, Philip. Thank you for enduring our silly stream here. Oop. <laughs> He's still alive! Oh, no, no, no! I'm used to the physics of the other one. <laughs> Where you could sort of jump off the building and land on the pad, but this is, that isn't, this is not that one. This is a very different one. Mike is a skeleton. I wonder if I'm a skeleton too. I just don't know it. Whoa, you dodged that good. Oh boy. Alright, so if you guys are getting bored of this in the chat, let me know. And we'll try another game. I was just having a lot of fun with this, that's all. But again, I'm very surprised at the frame rate of this thing. This is, this is running buttery smooth. Ah, that's okay, Jay. I've, I've never had this game work on anything other than the classic Mac OS.
all those betas and the OS 10 versions and stuff just just never really worked for me. <laughs> Whoa, there's a skull there. I think that's Mike. Or was Mike. <laughs> this is fun to watch. Okay. I'm glad this is relaxing because I'm having fun. Mike is somewhat having fun. Mike is falling. Again, the graphics look so different when I was young. This looked phenomenal. Now, comparing it to the 2004 version, this this looks very different. But <laughs> picked up a relic of vengeance. Okay, that's interesting. Oh boy. Oh, it does the heat seeking. I forgot. That's right. So if I if I sort of trail him for a bit. Ah. <laughs> oh, I forgot those uh <laughs> those belts around. <laughs> Yeah, so the uh, there are some differences in those models. Uh, look up uh, look up one of those websites, Every Mac, or if you have the serial number, go to AppleSerialNumberInfo.com. But uh, Every Mac has a listing of just all the specs. It'll tell you the the minor processor differences or the the extra memory that came with the the 30 model over the 10. But that's the one I have, the 230. Mike, where are you, Mike? I'm I'm talking as if he could listen to me, but Oh, he might have the stream open. He might he might still be listening to me. some of the graphics like pop in and out but nothing nothing major did Mike just jump off where'd Mike go? Mike fell a long way oh, no. oh I almost fell off too oh boy well How about uh, you add one bot in here, Jay? Just to move this along <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> no, it froze! <laughs> no. The CD drive is spinning up! No! <laughs> no, 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 no! Whoa, talk about lag. Holy crap. Yeah, it's something's going on. There we go. Oh jeez. You you went you did not add one bot, Jay. You did not add one bot. You son of a That is not one. That is not what we agreed upon. 
Ugh. No wonder it's lagging. Jeez. Oh boy. Mike, let's not shoot each other. We got other problems. I got no ammo. It's not good. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, Jay. Nice, Mike. <laughs> Killed myself. Yeah, I can definitely feel it dipping. <laughs> I can't tell by how much because I'm not going to look at the uh, frames per second. <laughs> I'll be dead. But it's uh, get it's getting below 20 at times. I can definitely feel it. You got me, Mike. Kill me after I killed him. Wait a second. That doesn't add up. Later. Ah! I only had the pistol! Hey, I still won. How about... Oh, my goodness. Look at my face. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is not... That is a face only a mother could love. 
Oh my goodness. Yes, Aaron, uh, those, uh, those do need a recapping. Bruce did a video on those, I believe. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well. Wow. <laughs> it was very tight there at the end with those bots. Thank you, Jay. We're, we're disconnecting from that server. And now I'm setting up my own. So that, that never happens again. Never trust Jay with your admins, guys. Never trust Jay. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this is just... Uh, although, I'm, I'm curious why uh, why this still says it's 500 megahertz. It definitely is not. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I think... Uh, I think that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. But I'm glad we did get uh, we did get that system to work because this is the first time I was trying that card, and it seemed to work pretty well. Um, see, we've been going for about two hours and thirty minutes here, so I think what we're gonna do is is pause here. Um, I'm gonna do another stream. I want to test out these games, um, but I know there are patches that I have to get, and I know this version of Quake doesn't work. I need the the version two. So I'm not going to waste too much time downloading stuff and playing around with that, but um, I do want to, I have a PC version of the same card. I want to put that in a blue and white G3, see if that's any faster. I want to do some more benchmarks. Um, yeah, but this this is the 333 model. I, I don't think I've ever replaced the CPU in it. I put an upgrade card in it, but I took that out. So maybe 8.6 is confused? Because I think this shipped with 8.1. Let's double check. Let's see. So I think this shipped with uh, with eight dot one. Yeah, it shipped with eight. So that's very strange. <laughs> very very strange. But I do like this machine. Uh, we're gonna eject that CD. And you know what, let me, whoa, it wanted to close on me there. Let me just see if I have anything else that's not a first-person shooter that's a little different. Let me just see. I can run Jaguar on it. Yes, I actually had Tiger running this at one on run, on this at one point. It didn't run too bad either. I'm always vacuuming. There's just so many d bad capacitors that are on the floor that I never cleaned up. Let's see. This game is called Astro Rock. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Look at that graphics. Oh, it's like one of those um one of those asteroids types games. Alright, we'll we'll end with something that probably has no voodoo compatibility and why would you need it? A simple game like this. Tempest 2000. That's a fun one. I just refreshed the YouTube studio. I thought I only had 10 people watching. We had 20. Sorry about that. The YouTube studio thing got frozen. <laughs> you could have worse neighbors. You could. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try this Tempest demo. Let's uh, see what this is about. It's a fun game. 16 megabytes of RAM. All right, so this doesn't use anything that's accelerated, does it? No. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff in here. Hold on a second. Let's see. 
cool stuff. Well, we got to look in there. Mac OS 8.1, QuickTime 3, QuickTime 2.5, Gold Master. Cool. Uh, put an extensions folder. Uh, display library, 68K extensions. Quick Draw, QuickTime 2.5. Let's, let's try this Astro Rock and then we could try a demo. Uh, oh, it's a network game too. Okay. Well, let's start this. I have no idea what to do. Oh, okay. Uh, press... Enter. How do I control this? I don't know the controls! Uh, I do have a Centris uh, 650 and I have a, uh, a Quadra 610. Alright, why can't I... I couldn't quit the darn thing. Maybe this gives me the <laughs> it tells me the controls. No. Let's try it again. Uh, configure. Configure controls. Oh. Oh, these, these are weird controls. Z, X, M, N. Blade, fire. Oh, okay. So, space, thrust, N. Yes. And H is blade. Well, be sure that it's uh, be sure that the capacitors are uh, not too far gone. The 650 is not a bad machine, but I don't know what you you intend to do with it. To be honest. Okay. Oh, so it ends when you kill the thing. All right. Uh, so like, it's like asteroids. Nope. <laughs> I have to get into the business of selling Max, because then... <laughs> they're, they're not bad. Nope. <laughs> I have one, and it's, it's uh, not a bad machine. <laughs> the controls are, are very interesting for this, I'll, I'll say that. Again, I can't quit this without force quitting. Maybe I'm just not patient enough. Right, let's try Tempest. <laughs> it, it is very dangerous. Now, oh, come on, focus. Focus. High voltage! <laughs> Yak! <laughs> okay. Uh, fire space. Move player. Okay. Begin game, All right? Where's the oh? All right. Ah! <laughs> they got me. They got me. Whee! 
We can get there fast enough. I'm really good at missing the power-ups. I actually won Jay, thank you very much. What the heck is this thing? Go away! No! Oh. <laughs> I'll, uh... I'll, I'll take you, uh... Your word on that, Mike. Yep. Yeah, game over. Sprockets are us. Oh, is this the... Oh, input sprockets. Hey, this is actually not a bad installer to have. Look at this. Oh, the Applejack driver. That's the gamepad for the Pippin. Interesting. That's the, that's the gamepad for the Pippin. How about that? Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? You know what would be fun? Don't hot swap the ADB. We're going to do it anyway. I'm going to use the the new weird mouse I got. Ooh, that's that's interesting to use. Hold on. Look at this. This is very interesting to use. So interest yeah, so it's not it's not 100% there we go. It was sort of getting stuck there before. This is this is a very interesting little pointing device. It sort of just glides around. That was very neat. Too bad they don't have the driver for this thing on here. That would be just some luck, wouldn't it? Uh, this is an Ultra A L T R A Micro Point. Let me type that in the chat there. I'm actually looking for a driver for it. I think the closest one, Danny, would be Bruce. But Bruce is not... Bruce, where are you located in Australia? If you're still in the chat... You, uh... You have somebody here. You may, may already know this person, but... Uh, I'm unfortunately nowhere close by. So I can't help. Ah, that's right. Near Sydney. Okay. This is interesting. If you go too far to the left or the right, it just sort of glides over. I don't I don't think this would be the best for playing games. <laughs> this is uh this is an interesting mouse, so I'll give it that. I wish I had the control panel. It's not even letting me click, is it? Well, that's lame. I can't click. How was I how was I clicking before? There we go. If the back side of the which which board are you talking about, Aaron? Is this the Mac Classic? If the back side of the board is black and sticky, uh, has the battery exploded? I mean, you might just have some terrible caps there. Oh, your Apple CD. Uh, honestly, Bruce is probably the best point 
there on that. I haven't opened one up <laughs> yet. <laughs> okay, sending us to fast kind of helps, but yeah, this is this is a a weird little pointing device. interesting little thing well we played some weird games and now we're just playing around with this pointing device which is very strange because like if you go too far to the left it just drags like it doesn't have the driver yeah it'll work as a regular mouse but without the driver I can't I can't do any more than just the one button and all the other options I guess are just not working so well, what are you going to do? Well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's try and play something with it. I don't know. That's, it, the, that'd be too silly. That'd be too silly. I can hardly click with this thing. I can hardly drag things to the trash with this thing. Yeah, I'm probably going to go eat dinner myself in a little bit, to be honest. Because it's almost 10 p.m. I'm hungry. So that was, uh, that was Astro Rock, was it? Interesting game. Sort of like an Asteroids type thing. Oh, Astro Rock 2000, forgive me. This is, a uh, MS-DOS Windows Macintosh Hybrid Disc. So how about that? How about that? Well, I'm using the wrong mouse now. Now I, I want to use the little ADB one, but, um... Yeah, so I don't know if I have much else to show you guys. I appreciate everybody hanging around. Still got almost 20 of you here. I hate to just leave you, but um, I don't know what else to do at this point. We played some games. We tested out the Voodoo card. Um, yeah. Um, well, you know what? Let's, let's see how horrible. This is the last thing we'll do. I want to see how bad Unreal Tournament runs on the built-in rave graphics. So to do that, we're going to have to shut down. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. Well, not the built-in graphics, because honestly, the built-in graphics it probably runs fine. I'm curious about this card. And you know what? We have the machine here. We got 20 people here. Might as well do it. And you know what? Maybe I can just eat and come back. Maybe. But I also promised the missus I would watch a movie. So she might get a little upset if she finds me down here and not up there. <laughs> okay, so let's turn the machine on its side. Oh boy. Oh, heavy. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna open this up again. And we're gonna take out the voodoo card here. Well, Jay, you'll have to come over because you know someone else has to play UT. I, I can't have uh, both of the mice and keyboards. Okay. Well, I'm very glad that this voodoo card worked. Cause, I mean, you never know, but... Alright, so we're going to install this. This is a Exclaim X-C-L-A-I-M. Maybe that's how you say it. Exclaim VR Pro. With an ATI 3D Rage Pro AGP X, a 2X, and an 8 megabyte video memory sim, so uh, dim. So let's see if that is actually recognized here. This has video out and all this fun stuff. I think I have a, one of those little purple uh, breakout boxes for this that lets you do TV signals and stuff.
I can't get this screw in. There we go. The car's not really going to go anywhere, but don't want to take any chances. Oh, boy. Hey, interesting. That 4x4 game is fun. I remember playing that on the... on a Was it the Mac I played on? I think I played it on the Mac. That's a fun one. Ooh, Danny, thank you. I'm taking a screenshot of that to remind me. I have to, I have to go play it. That was, that's a fun one. I remember having a lot of fun with that game. Let's hope we don't need any additional drivers or anything for uh, this card. We may. We may not. Let's plug our... Yeah, everything's plugged in. All right. Oh, power's now plugged in. It's kind of important. Again, look at the size of this card. So, no video. Let's reboot there. Alright, so the video comes out of the card. Might not be accelerated, but let's see. Ah, uh, good old Mac OS 8.6. All right, let me let this boot up. I will be right back. Where you can so you can enjoy the hard drive. Okay, we're back. Ah, the cl the PRAM battery's dead, Jay. Even if I set the clock, it's not going to be happy. <laughs> I need to get a new battery. Hey, look at that resolution. Oh boy. Just listen to that beautiful hum. <laughs> I read Jay's comment and didn't even read the username. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> oh, this mouse is not the best to use. <laughs> Let's set the speed down again. <laughs> oh, this will take some getting used to. I got it as a novelty based on a Christian's recommendation, but... 
let's plug a regular mouse in. Okay. Now I'm curious if we run on real tournament if it's gonna detect the uh I have to put the C D in. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah that that'll that'll do it. Yeah, let's uh I think we have to change the file. Was it the I and I file? Engine, yes, yeah, it puts in this glide driver here. Yes, yeah, so we need we need to set it to the rave one. But how do you how do you reset that? How do we reset the preferences? Uh, specifics, OpenGL. I'm trying to see how you uh, how you tell the machine. Oh, wait, it's answers a not the window. It's a preference. Oh, okay. Having a good 3D acceleration can make a huge difference. A Rage 128 or a Voodoo will run the game best. I'm assuming graphics language. Or maybe graphics layer? I'm not sure. Oh, we're just continually to mess around. <laughs> Let's see. You can launch a dedicated server by going through the regular Unreal Tournament game, going to start game, and launch a dedicated servers. Okay. Yeah, so I'm trying to uh, trying to see here. You know what? We have enough hard drive space. Let's copy this, and then I'll trash the preference file, and then we'll load it again. So. I forget what size hard drive this is. It's a four gig. Okay, not bad. Bruce, we should start our own old Mac page. <laughs> we do have a Mac Yak page, but there's not much on it. <laughs> All right, so this will be our rave copy. I wonder if I just trash this I and I file. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to trash it. I will grab a different one from the server. How about that? There we go. That's using the old noodle. <laughs> It'll go to my head, too. That's a fact. That's a fact. All right, so let's copy over the preference files to our version here. All right, so that should overwrite anything that was set to uh, the 3DFX stuff. So let's see. Let's see what happens when we try and launch it. Besides asking for the CD. Oh, glide environment expected. Voodoo. Yeah. Alright, well let's, let's put the CD in and see if it stops complaining.
Who wants to hear the CD drive spin up? There it goes. That's a noisy CD drive. Who wants to play Unreal Tournament, baby? It sounds like a table saw. <laughs> I think that's the hard drive and the power supply fan all mixed into one. <laughs> oh, here's the Mac of all trades sticker on the on the bottom of this uh, G3 tower. Right there. That might have been the 3622nd uh, item they've sold. Oh, come on, you dumb camera. But uh yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is a 333 megahertz, one megabyte of cache, uh, 128 megs originally shipped with, and a 9 gigabyte ultra wide SCSI drive with the 24x CDR, I'm sorry, CD, and uh, 6 megabytes of VR, so VRAM. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you, should, I should put a disclaimer on the show. No cats allowed. Unable to access 3D Accelerator. Uh, yeah, I don't, probably don't have the stupid drivers installed. How about that? When has that stopped us before? Let's look you up. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah, that's going to run like garbage. Yeah, well, this was a professional machine, so. All right. No, that's that's for the blue and white. I don't I don't want uh, the ATI drivers for the blue and white. That's not gonna. Well, maybe it will help. Hold on. Let's download it. Let's open it up. You know, I've been wanting to uh, do some painting, but I, I I would need to take everything away from the walls and. With the amount of stuff that's in here, I don't have the space to do that right now. But that is something I would like to do. All right, let's let's see if we could uh, get any of these. Uh... These um, what you call it? Uh, I'll get the word. Any of these uh, updates? For the graphics card to be recognized on this machine, I'd love to do like it would. It might not, not might not look as nice, but I'd love to do where all the white is, uh, like a big like the rainbow colors from the Apple logo. That might be cool. I mean, just it's just a ugly white wall right now. Worst I'll do is over is paint it over again, or I could put up some posters or shelves. I just don't know what I want to do yet. There's a lot of other things I I have to attend to first. <laughs> Put a put a big uh, a big Clarice the dog cow on the wall, you know, make the joint look classy. <laughs> oh, the wife would love that. <laughs> I do have to update this banner though, because I'm almost if, if it, uh, I'm past sixteen hundred subscribers at this point. So. I do have some boards that don't work. Maybe I can mount those. I don't know. Tons of ideas. Tons of ideas. ATI video software update. This hopefully works. What you gonna do? Yeah, Power Macintosh. Cool. Of course we get to restart afterwards. Why wouldn't we restart afterwards?
Well, that helped us get all the drivers, so that's good. There's a lot of things I want to do videos on. That would be fun. Uh, currently, there's just so much stuff just piled up everywhere. I went to go get uh, containers from the hardware store. And all the small ones that I needed didn't have lids or they were sold out. So, struggle continues. <laughs> And you must be thinking, wow, maybe that Mac is so loud because the door is off. No, <laughs> it is just as loud with the door on, I assure you. I assure you. All right, let's see if we see an ATI extension pop up in the corner there. That'd be nice. Show us that the card is recognized, maybe. Whenever I get the dollar store bins, well, actually, the dollar store by me doesn't really have bins. But when I ever get the cheap ones, they don't really, they don't really last. So, I'd, I'd rather pay a few bucks for the, the decent ones. I usually get them at Target, actually. Target had a sale at one point. I bought, like, $100 worth of bins. <laughs> ah, our desktop is getting cluttered. Mostly tripping over them, stepping on them, you know, the usual. Oh, we're only running at 256 colors. Yeah, at least boost that up to a thousand at least. Yeah, still complaining about that voodoo card. But once we boot up the, the game, we should be able to change the uh, software rendering or whatever preference that seems to not be sticking. Even though we ch Oh, that's why. I'm an idiot. No, cancel. Ah, uh, no! I froze the machine! <laughs> no! <laughs> Here, here's a pro tip. Do not try and force quit on Real Tournament. Oh, boy. Yeah, of course it's, it's complaining about the voodoo card, because I have the wrong shortcut on the desktop. I'm an idiot. Oh, boy. You can cut a hole in the wall and build a cabinet on it. Well, this is concrete. <laughs> so it's a little bit easier said than done. Um, yeah. I mean, I could drill into the wall, but I'd probably want to have a, a, a very set plan of what I want to do before I just go crazy going, Zzz. it's going to take a while. I guess I could turn that light back on. Is it too dark? Yeah, a little too dark. No, it's not drywall. <laughs> Painted cement blocks is more like it. That's why my toes are frozen currently. That's we're in the basement. You can put your prize computers in a glass cabinet or something. Yeah, but then I can't play with them. I, I would like to do a nice display or something. I, I have to figure out what I want to do first and then do that but there's there's so much junk that I have to organize first it's it's insane so we all right let's have this be the last time we reboot this system because it's it's getting old we've been going for three hours now I don't know how many times we reboot <laughs> all right let's go to our rave edition of Unreal Tournament I can spell the word rave. There's no B in there, Steven. Come on. There we go. Still give me the error, but whatever. I won't touch it. I'm not going to force quit it. I learned my lesson. <laughs> I 
<laughs> You're going to be here for a while. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I think why it's taking forever is it, it still loads stuff from the CD. I don't know if when I did the install, I did a full install or what, but... It's it's amazing. So this is this is the Voodoo Two card from Game Wizard, uh, the Game Wizard Voodoo card from Micro Conversions. They did the same uh, card for the iMac G3. It's amazing how identical this card looks to that card. Like same chip, same layout. It's just this connector is, you know, not there, and these two video connectors are here and here. I mean, it's very similar. So, except this is a 12 meg card. And the other one's an 8 megabyte card. As if I haven't been using the attic. <laughs> what kind of collector do you think I am? <laughs> oh yeah, you really can't see me. It's really dark. Let me let me turn that light back on. Maybe you don't want to see me, but Yeah, I don't like keeping computers up in the attic because it gets very hot. No, don't throw anything out. That broken piece of plastic is for a quadra. I know where it goes. <laughs> Turn into an episode of Mac hoarding. So I finally found this card in a little bin that I brought downstairs because I brought it down uh, stairs with a few other wires. And this was in its little anti-static bag and everything. And I, I completely forgot that I brought it downstairs. Alright, this is running like garbage because it's not uh, in the right mode. So let's go to preferences. What is set to rave? Let's see. Rave, yeah. Rage Pro, okay. Yes, I was. I was. I was telling everybody on Discord. <laughs> I was gonna load this stupid game again. Ugh. I was telling everyone on Discord how uh, how frantically I was looking for it, and it turned into a three-hour live stream. How about that? <laughs> well, if you've seen some of my videos filmed on the other side of the basement, uh, that's where the, the shelves are. That's where the, the, the IMAXs are and the living and the uh, towers and all that stuff. But all that sort of leaks. I don't know why I'm making hand motions because you can't see me. But all the stuff from that basement sort of leaks over to this end because I pull out something to play with and then I don't put it back. So I have to get into a better habit of doing that. But this will probably be the last time we open up this game. It's probably boring for everybody. Still got 20 people here, but... I don't know if YouTube just froze again, because the uh, control panel window thing it doesn't seem like it's refreshing as it should, but. Twenty-five people! Hey, how about that? <laughs> I had to manually refresh it, but okay. I, I need to put away my toys. I need to, I need to be a, a reasonable individual and do that. <laughs> If we, uh, if we copied over, what type of internet do you have? I have 3.0 DSL. Uh, I have, uh, cable internet. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty quick. Okay, let's see if this runs any better. Probably not. <laughs> you can't even see the graphics there. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at this! <laughs> Is this Unreal Tournament for the visually impaired? Wow. 
What the heck? <laughs> I can't even... I can't even change anything! I, I can't even... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't... I can't even... Wait, hold on. How do... How does one get out of this? What I press? <laughs> yeah, Mike, I... <laughs> not surprised. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't I don't think this is gonna be usable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um Well, I think we hit our match here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, I can go down, but I can't click up. Okay, we, we helped ourselves a little bit here. Why, why can't this go down further? Ah. Okay, we're get we're making progress. There we go. Finally. Jeez, Louise. Yes, I want to see a new game too. I just want to see if it's actually recognizing the drivers or not. That's all. Promise. That's all. I will. Yep, it's something's, something's not quite right. <laughs> something's not quite right. Oh boy. Yeah, let me just. And CD drive is taking forever to spin up and. Yeah, this is running at 8 frames per second right now. And I can't even click the start button. So, you know what? Yeah, we're we're going to we're going to quit this game cuz I think we're all sick of it and it doesn't like these drivers. So. Ah, oh, boy. Well, that was a a big uh a big how do you do for nothing? Wasn't it? That's how I felt. Have I showed this off before on the stream? I believe I did, but it was a long time ago. This is a fun one. I don't know if I've shown this off before. It's not really graphically intensive or anything. I think, I think I've shown this off. It's a fun one. Oh, this is a fun one. You'll see. I had the demo of this for years, and then somebody on Facebook a few months ago posted a, a box of CDs, and that's where I've been getting some of these games from. And uh, I've never seen the, the a CD version of this. I always had the, the shareware version or whatever. Wow, Nick. 
Thank you. That's uh, that is, that is quite a um, quite a marathon. Does it not like the serial number I put in? I, oh, this was the hard drive from the workgroup server. Let's change the name of this. I guess it. All right. Let's find a number here. Uh, there was one on Macintosh Garden. Hold on. Because my CD does not have the number, although I physically have the CD, so it was purchased at one time. I think there's actually an OS 10 port of this. Oh, what the heck? Let's try it again. 3YQ6XUQK? Oh, what was that about? You quit? Well, I'm glad you had fun. That's that's what I try and do here. Let's try this one more time. Oh, come on. Did I write down the serial number on this case anywhere? No, I did not. I got this to work on another stream I did, but... Uh, you know, let me check my email because this guy still had the website up and said email me for a serial number. And I think I did. Let's see. Yeah, might might have to just call it a night if it doesn't want to cooperate. And I think I've showed it on a stream before. It's a fun game. It's like a, it's like a, a, a you ever played the game Warlords for the Atari, or the arcade? It's a fun one. It's it's kind of like that because you have like your own little base and you're trying to hit everyone else, but it's more of you're on a different, you're on like a little 3D plane. I'm just searching my email real quick, see if I come up with anything. Nope, I found the email I sent back on July 2016. <laughs> uh, but I guess, I guess they didn't respond, so I might not be able to do much with this. One last thing I will try. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 Let's just see if this has a has a number listed here. Uh, there is a number. I found a different number. Let's see if that wants to work. It seemed to work. Woohoo! <laughs> yes. Everyone would be dead <laughs> by the end of this. You do 800 by 600? Sure. Ooh, we can change our color? I'm going to be green. Alright, so how this game works is you basically want to take over everybody else's territory without giving up your own territory. So I'm the little green and I gotta I gotta put in these these little markers here. It's sort of like a mad dash when you start. And I'll explain more as I go along, but 
I'm not good at multitasking. Okay, so you put all your poles in the ground. And then I start off... I have to wait for this little bar here. Here. Oh, let me tilt the screen a little bit. I have to wait for the little bar here to come up with a character. And I have to click on that character and he, he enables all of these little poles. But while I'm doing this, everyone else is attacking me, which is not cool. There we go. So the more the more um, area that I actually have with my color, the more characters and defensive things I could do. So I just gotta sort of wait for a second. Uh, I think I have Nanosaur. I think. So I just have... I don't have too many defensive things until now. Now I got this little cutter guy. And see, he just... He cut him up! He went boom! As you can see by the map up here, the space that I have. And now, I knock them down. But I do to them what they did to me! Oh. <laughs> we all went kaboom. So I'm destroying their area now. And if I destroy their little binocular base thing, that's it. I win the game. How about that? See? That's how it works. Now the next level is tougher because there's more than one opponent there. So you could really screw them up by just clicking really quickly and getting like all the spots that they can't get because then it then it takes them longer to take over your land so they didn't act quick enough and I got all my poles down I don't have anybody to raise them up yet but I got my poles down so again this game is called grids with the Z G R I D Z I believe they did do an OS 10 port of it or at least they tried to but uh, this is the only version I played Trying to knock me down already. So I have to wait until I have more points. And then I could uh, build some characters that could actually go after these guys that are breaking my stuff. So they're going to get me. No. Ah. Take that. Carmageddon is fun. I don't have the disc for it. So I'll have to maybe wait for another stream. But that, that is a fun one.
Ah, he got me. Just at the last minute. And you can hear it, but each of these little characters has like a little catchphrase and stuff. That's pretty fun. Hey, hey, hey. So now I only got this guy to worry about. And he's a goner, it looks like. Hey, how about that? So, there we go. That's a, a non-Unreal Tournament game for you. And we didn't really have any requirement for acceleration or anything. Let's see. Need 24 megabytes of memory? That's all you need. Um, I wonder if there are any other system requirements. It just says 24 megs. Let's see if the CD says anything. Yeah, nope. No, that's all. I mean, pretty low system requirements, probably, but yeah, that's pretty cool. How about that? Well, that is Grids. That's the other game I wanted to show you. And uh, I think that's about it. We've been going for almost three and a half hours now. I need a break. <laughs> and I need to go eat. So I'm going to be doing that. But I hope you had fun playing with these machines today. I'm glad our Voodoo card works. I'm going to be testing more uh, with the Voodoo card and with the iMac G3. Trying to compare them. Um, is that 8K? I don't think so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess I guess that's about it. Anybody has any questions or anything before before I leave? Uh, you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram? It's Mac84TV. That's uh, my handle. So if you want to follow me, see what I'm doing when I'm not streaming. I post pictures, links, stuff like that. Uh, you, know, you can do that. I took a five-minute break at 10 p.m., Mr. J., you're the one that took a longer break, sir. Can't please everybody. You just can't please everybody. So, yeah, I guess uh, I guess that's about it. And, uh, yes, I do have a Patreon. Um, I post a lot of early uh, access stuff there. So if I'm working on a video, I'll post it there a few days or a day or so before it's released. I have a tour on there of my collection. Um, I also have a, uh, a few drafts of videos that are just not out yet. And uh, I post little updates of what's going on and stuff that I'm planning to do. So uh, I'm not like one of those creators where my Patreon starts at like five or ten dollars. I start at a dollar and yeah, if you pay a little more, you get some other stuff. But if you want to support me, that's an awesome way to do so. It helps me acquire things like a voodoo card or games and stuff like that and uh, helps me. So any of the any little things you want to you want to help me out with, whether it's, you know, you want to send me I, I've had people send me parts and stuff like that. You don't have to, but it's a very nice thing to consider. But, uh, yeah, so I guess that's about it. I'm going to uh, sign off here. I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. Uh, sorry it was a little Unreal Tournament heavy. We'll try and play some Tomb Raider or something next time. But uh, I was very satisfied with the performance of this Voodoo card. I am, I'm very, very happy with the way it works. So that surprised me. So All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you later at another live stream. And uh, I guess that's it. Goodbye.